two hours to go. Polls are still open for the Pennsylvania primary. And at the top of many voters' minds is the race involving state representative Kevin Boyle. Good evening. I'm Jessica Cartelia. Yuki is off tonight. State Representative Boyle has been in the headlines after a warrant was issued for his arrest. And his brother said his family is concerned about Kevin Boyle's mental health. That warrant has been withdrawn, but we still have not seen or heard from Boyle, even as he runs to keep his seat in the State House. We have team coverage of today's Pennsylvania primary. Dan Snyder is walking us through all of the key races. But let's start with Carrie Corrado, live in Fox Chase. She has more on this race involving State Representative Kevin Boyle. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Jessica. You said it best. Still no sign of Representative Kevin Boyle, and we have been here all day. Overall, it's been very slow. Not a big turnout, but poll workers are hoping that picks up around now for the next two hours. It's been a slow day at the polling locations across Philadelphia Tuesday as voters cast their ballot for the state's primary election. Many just want to see change. I'm hoping that change. Like everybody else. But for voters in the 172nd district, which covers parts of Montgomery County and Northeast Philadelphia, they had a little more on their plates. All eyes were on the district's house race between Representative Kevin Boyle, who has held his seat for more than a decade and is seeking his eighth term, and his challenger, Sean Doherty. He didn't campaign. Doherty was all over campaigning. So uh, uh, he was the man for, what, 12 years? So. Time for him to go. Less than 24 hours before the election, Philadelphia District Attorney's Office withdrew Representative Boyle's arrest warrant after learning there was no active protection from abuse order Boyle could have violated after allegedly texting his ex wife. Why are you acting this way? Why are you acting this way? Two months ago, Boyle went viral on social media after police say he threatened employees at a Montgomery County bar. CBS Philadelphia has also learned he has struggled with mental health in the past. Boyle's attorney recently released a statement saying, in part, this entire past week and all the media coverage around it coming in the final days before Election Day has caused tremendous professional damage to my client. One voter we spoke with has a message for Representative Boyle. Kevin, if you're listening, get the help you need. We love you, Kevin. Get better. We did reach out today to Boyle's attorney. We are still waiting to hear back at this point. Again, those polls close at 8 o'clock tonight. Jessica? All right, Carrie, thank you. Let's check in now with Dan Snyder. He joins us with the races that you need to keep an eye on that will shape the ballot for this upcoming November. Hi, Dan. Hi, Jess. Yeah, and let's start with that race that Carrie's on right now. That one's interesting to us for a couple of reasons. Take a look. Let's get you over here to Senate uh, State House District uh, 172 here in Northeast Philly. Again, Kevin Boyle running against Sean Doherty. That's the interesting race today, but we're also watching the Republican side of this because while Kevin Boyle won that seat in 2010, it was held by a Republican for 30 years prior to that. Democrats only hold the state house by two seats right now, so both parties will push in November. This will be a big target area for both parties. Another state house seat we are watching today is out in West Philly, the Democratic primary for state house district 10. Amon Brown, your incumbent there, but he's facing pretty strong challenges from Purple Blackwell and Cass Green. And election experts I talked with say all three of these candidates have really stuck to the ground game in West Philly. Take a listen. This is going to be a competitive election, and uh, there's a really strong field game happening in that section of the city. So anybody living in that district should be expecting, I think, door knocking, canvassing. Um, Cass Green, Purple Blackwell, and Amon Brown all have uh, strong canvassing operations at play right now. A couple of other races we're definitely keeping an eye on. The attorney general's race. Five Democrats in that primary today. Two Republicans. That should be a tight race come November. Tight race is coming today, so we're watching that. Also, of course, the presidential races. Uh, President Biden, former President Trump, both looking to lock up their nominations. They do have some challengers on there, but one thing both men have faced, the so-called protest votes. President Biden over his war in Gaza. Nikki Haley is still on the ballot, even though she dropped out. And in other states, some have been voting for her, so we'll watch that. Other races, and of course, we're going to follow these results as they come in in just about two hours. Jess? All right, Dan, thanks so much for the breakdown. It has been a smooth day so far for the election task force. Its purpose is to safeguard the voting rights of Philadelphia residents. Most issues involve electioneering where people are uh, handing out materials too close to the polls uh, or people inside the polls working the polls wearing uh, 
attire for one candidate or the other, which is illegal in Pennsylvania. We generally resolve those just through talking with those individuals. Remember, as long as you are in line to vote by 8 o'clock tonight, you will be allowed to vote. And if you have a question or you see any kind of issue at the polls, you can call Philadelphia's Election Task Force hotline. That number's right there on your screen, 215-686-9641. We also have it posted on our website. And we have another local primary coming up. New Jersey's is on June 4th. The deadline to register to vote in that primary is May 14th. Delaware has canceled its Republican primary due to Nikki Haley dropping out of the presidential race. There was no Democratic primary scheduled. And stay right here with CBS News Philadelphia for continuing coverage. We will have results from today's primary as soon as they come in. You can always get the latest on CBSPhiladelphia.com.